So what does is, what is, uh, CSC Leaders feel like? It's over 100 people from, I think, something like 46 different uh, countries. The diversity, and, and not just in terms of cultural diversity, I'm seeing diversity in, in thinking, in experiences, and in terms of looking at innovation and how we can actually create real collaboration, that type of diversity is exactly what we need to start with. You would be hard pressed to find someone who says diversity is a bad thing. I think in terms of companies, governments, NGOs looking for solutions to messy, complex, big issues that need to be solved, healthcare, education, climate change, this takes people thinking outside the box, and even that alone is, is cliche as well. But these complex issues require different perspectives, new ways of thinking, and diversity delivers that sort of provocation to think differently. Uh, why is cultural intelligence important for business? Well, fundamentally, business today is global. Uh, five, maybe even 10 years ago, People would think about global business as the large multinational corporations. Small companies of, of one person even are, are dealing and competing in a global marketplace today. So cultural intelligence is highly important if you want to be interacting in a highly connected, uh, hyper-connected in fact, economy. I, I work in a global role. I live in Ireland, I travel throughout Africa, throughout Southeast Asia, and I travel to the U.S. and uh, particularly where our headquarters is in Silicon Valley. Uh, truth be told, I think many of the, the far reaches of the globe that I go to today are incredibly global, incredibly switched on. It's actually some of the places, some of you know, the large cities, for example, including in the U.S., that I would say would benefit from seeing firsthand uh, not the poverty, not uh, you know, the challenges happening in emerging markets, but actually the innovation, the energy, the spirit, the intelligence. I think many times there are uh, you know, preconceptions, there are stereotypes of the emerging markets when in fact most of the emerging markets are leapfrogging ahead of the quote unquote developed or the mature markets in terms of innovation, in terms of uh, cutting edge. What really intrigued me in the discussion this morning about uh, social impact and partnering, Mabel is from Zambia, and we were talking about the concept of reciprocity and partnerships. And she made just a, a very profound statement that partnerships are not about you know, the equity of what an individual partner is putting into the partnership, but the equality that, whether we're talking bilateral, or multilateral partnerships, it's the equality of the participants, not necessarily the equity of, of what they're contributing to the partnership.